Hello, hello, hello. Hello, and good morning or afternoon yeah, morning. or wherever you are or yeah. whenever you listen to this this video. Yes. And I'm Daryl. I'm Charlotte. And, and we, we are, are the, the Bakers. Bakers. We want to just start off Sunday morning really quickly with something that has been pressing upon our hearts to talk about really quick before. If you're heading out for a great day, whether you're going to service, it all depends. We wanted to talk about something that we think is important. Absolutely. And the topic today we want to do really briefly is about have you released the, the hurt hmm. or are you nursing? I know that's kind of like a lame way, but <laughs> have you released any hurts and are you nursing it or are you nursing it? So what do yeah. you think about that? Yeah. Hurt, pain, sadness. And we're talking about things. If you've lived a little while, you're older than two. <laughs> You are going to, if you have not, unfortunately, deal with some things that are not necessarily nice, pleasant, pleasant as far as hurt and uh, dealing with relationships, whether it's from family, whether it's from maybe your job, or whether it's from even in being in relationships. So we wanted to talk about the hurt, pain, and sadness. Those are real feelings. Uh, those are real, real issues, man. Real, real life experiences yes, as well. Yes, yes, real life feelings. So when negative things happen, it impacts our life. It right? does. It, it does. really does. I it mean, does. you could say, we could say all we want to say, but it does impact our life. Now, the key is, as we'll talk about as we go on, is how you deal with it, right? Mm -hmm. So some of the things we talk about when you talk about being really true, let's be real. Yeah, okay? you have when to be someone, real. Can we be real? Let's be real. Okay. So inflicting, um, being inflicted upon by someone else, pain, hurt, again, what does that mean? Especially mm. when it's done by someone you love or care about, mm -hmm. when they hurt you. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. It seems like it's what unbearable sometimes. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Um, hurt, basically, it, 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 it can go so deep into your uh, individual that can be sort of paralyzed in your expression of a, being able to express love, right? And so those type of pains and those type of experiences can really alter your personality mm -hmm. because now you may be going into a defense mode or defense mechanism. You're using things pretty much to, uh, to allow yourself to not to be hurt again. And so you start building walls and you start building situations around your life and you start projecting on other individuals because now you don't want to talk about you mm -hmm. or you don't want to be vulnerable mm -hmm. because of the fact that that experience was so painful to you do not want to go down that road again. That's and true. so in being able to get free from that and being able to understand even the depths of that pain, you have to take introspection. You have to determine exactly what caused the pain, why, and then how are you going to be able to live through the pain, get over it, and, and be healed? And so what do you think about that? I agree. Um, again, let's be honest. Pain and hurt can sometimes, depending on the severity of what happened, can seem unbearable. It can seem like it's something that's um, never ending. It seems like you'll never get you know, away from it. And our minds are so smart that you know we have this great memory bank so we remember good and bad things. And sometimes, like I said, depending on the severity, how traumatic the event was that happened to you, mm -hmm. whether it was, we're talking about relationships, but whether it was abuse, mm -hmm. that's a real big one, which we won't get into too much today. We'll do a separate second. But when you've dealt with abuse, mm -hmm. whether it's physical or sexual or anything, emotional, verbal abuse, that can affect your very person. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't know how to release, mm -hmm. as we talk about going here, if you don't know how to release the, that toxic stuff that has been placed in you, because really it's like this. The example that I see is like when someone hurts you, they're planting a seed, mm -hmm. right? Yes. They're planting this seed within your very being, your very soul, your emotions. They're planting these seeds. It's actually more than one. And when they plant this, these seeds, they're going to eventually what, germinate. 
Mm-hmm. If you don't take, like we do outside when you see a weed, if you don't take something to kill the weed, because these are not these are not seeds that are going to grow into these beautiful flowers per se, but they can become so toxic, just like weeds, they can just take over a whole yard, right? That's true. If you don't stop it. And it grows. I and mean, it weeds grows. grow so quickly <clears throat> and, and it spreads. And weeds are real smart too in that weeds can pretend, they can morph into something that actually looks like it's something for life. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen a weed? It was a weed, but it kind of looked like a flower because it was really trying to hide itself like we do with our toxic emotions, really trying to hide and pretend like it's not it's not bad for the, the whole the whole grass area. But it actually is because it's not a part of the normal system of grass. I'm just using grass as an example. OK, so when people sow negative seeds into your life, Right. They're sowing these seeds. And if you don't, because it's up to you, if you don't choose to eject to to go in like they do the gardening tools and scoop out those things that they haven't planted, then you're kind of stuck in this. It's a limbo, too. It's like it keeps you right there. And our minds are so great that it depending on, again, how, how bad it was, it can seem like it's happening every day. Like it's fresh because our minds, we haven't grappled with what we need to do in order to make sure that we release that. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. If you don't release the pain and the hurt and the trauma that you ever experienced, you're going to constantly perpetuate that same assignment. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter which relationship that you begin to develop. You still yet have that same mindset. And then you're still yet carrying that 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 same Mm -hmm. pain into new relationships. Uh, And then you're going mm -hmm. to expect that individual to treat you the same way Mm -hmm. that you have been treated from the past relationship. So that's what yeah. baggage basically represents. You're mm-hmm. talking about old old seasons. You're carrying stuff mm-hmm. from the old season and trying to make it new. Mm-hmm. And you cannot make something new that mm-hmm. is old if you don't really deal with the issues. And mm-hmm. so if you don't deal with the issues of the heart, mm-hmm. uh, because of the fact that it doesn't matter if you are in Atlanta, Georgia, if you are in <laughs> Canada, if you are in Alaska China. or China <laughs> or go matter. across the seas, because you're yeah. still yet carrying that no same seeds. pain, that same hurt, that yeah. same old mentality, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it requires you to take introspection and say, listen, I have been carrying this pain for such a long time. In fact, it has become my friend, okay? Mm. And so and then when, 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 when individuals come into your life that's mm. going to give you some revelation of truth, mm. then you may reject that right. because of the fact that they not necessarily agreeing with your pain, okay? <laughs> so now if it's pain that you want, then of course you cannot <clears throat> move from that position to freedom. Mm. So if it's freedom that you want, you cannot carry the pain with you. So there's a choice. There's do you want the pain or do you want the freedom? And so I believe that we have to make that decision at, at some point mm-hmm, in our lives mm-hmm. to determine where it is that we're trying to go. And that's important because all of this circles around your well-being. Because if you're not well, if you're not whole in your soul and your mind and all the components that make us up, you know, we are trichotic, body, soul, and spirit. If we're not whole, if we don't have a good well-being, a good core, then that's going to affect everything around us. It's not just going to affect us. It's going to affect us, especially as we're talking about relationships, Mm -hmm. whether you're unmarried or married. It's going to affect how you view people. It's going to affect how you interact with people. And especially if you're talking about you want a long lasting marital relationship. So what are we saying? We're saying there is someone who's definitely well able to help you with that. The one that's able to heal the broken heart. But it's also a process of you choosing. Mm-hmm. to release. Now, are we saying it's easy? No, because we're going to give you some example. Well, when it talks about let all bitterness and anger, because when you're dealing with these seeds that people have sown into your life because of hurt and pain, you can develop other things like bitterness, anger, and malice. But those things are only toxic to you. Mm-hmm. They're not toxic necessarily in the sense of how it's going to affect other people. It affects other people, but you're the one that's carrying it. And again, we talked about, are you nursing? You know, like you nurse a baby, mother's nurse a baby. Are you nursing the pain? Because if you are, you're going to be, again, stuck in that one place and you're not going to be able to move forward. Now, we may say, okay, 
<clears throat> that's easy for you to say, Daryl. That's easy for you to say, Charlotte. We're going to tell you why it's not easy. It is easy in the sense of it was just a surrendering. So personally, and I'm going to let Daryl take it. But personally, last time I talked about how when I was in a failed relationship, that was a very tragic, hurtful, painful process. And I was one of those that said, yes, it's going to work and it's going to believe out. Now, let, let me make this very clear. My disclaimer is it does work for some people, you know, people that have been through failed relationships. I'm talking about a particular marriage. If both parties are willing to do what needs to be done, this is my disclaimer, then yes, <clears throat> there is hope. There is a chance that if they're willing to go through a process of recovery, depending on what happened, that's a good scenario. But I, unfortunately, I wasn't in that scenario because I was the willing party and the other person wasn't. And there was nothing I can do. God is not going to make you do anything. Now, he can set up situations, which we've seen in life, that can allow you to be in a place where you forgive. But it depends on what you, how long you're willing to wait, especially when you're talking about believing for a spouse. I can give from that, that point of view. That's my personal testimony. Other people have a, you know, a different testimony. That's fine. But from my testimony, it was I wanted it, but the other person didn't. And there was nothing I could do. Mm -hmm. You know, and so guess what? I had a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of hurt. I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. It didn't feel good. I thought there was no way in the world I was going to recover from that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just horrific because this was someone I had dated a very long time, actually in my younger years. So dating someone from you know younger years, we were talking about high school. <laughs> that was a long time into my young adult years. And so when you love someone that long, mm -hmm. but the key was I loved probably a lot harder than the other person did. Mm -hmm. And 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 so no matter what the case may be, it was painful. Mm -hmm. And again, I said, like, oh my God, how am I going to get, but I remember this words. I think I said this last time. My mom was one of the people, it was other people too. My mom told me, honey, you're going to get over this at the time. You know, I was younger. She said, you're going to get over, you're young and God will give you, will bless you with, with, with a husband who loves you and respects you. And you know, when she was saying it to me, I was like, okay, mom, you my mom, I hear you. But at the time that pain was speaking louder than anything else I could hear, anything else I could see. And I couldn't see my way out, but it was one day, <clears throat> excuse me. It was one day mm. that it just clicked for me. Mm -hmm. that I could no longer allow myself to hold my head down, to be chained to this pain. Because guess what? Whether the other person was successful or not, in fact, you know, they went on and got married again and all that, and I'm still sitting around moping. But regardless, if they didn't go on and get married again, I had to choose to live. Mm -hmm. Because my life was not just based on this person. Yeah. And God had to really deal with me about me. Mm -hmm. Like you have a purpose and a destiny regardless of who you married to. Oh, amen. That'll preach right there if I was preaching. <laughs> but you have a purpose whether you're married or not. But if you happen to be married, that just makes it even better, right? So my point is I had to really go to the one who could heal me yes. of my broken heart because my heart was literally broken. Yes. I thought I was going to be married for 30 years, you know, not just 30 years, but from, from that point all the way up until, you know, Jesus came back or however it went. That was my envision because I really valued my, my, my vows. So I just wanted to say God is able to what? Heal us, Deliver but it, us. the key is, which a lot of people miss, you have to do something. Mm -hmm. You have to say, I surrender. I will submit to the healing process. Now, he's going to give his testimony about hurt because it's, I know some may say, well, how do you say all this stuff? We say all this stuff from a point of experience. Yes, so yes. we want to make it very clear that we're not just talking out of a vacuum. <clears throat> the things that we talk about different topics, we have experienced them. Oh, yeah. And uh, many experiences is not necessarily easy. It's not necessarily a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. um, however, it does bring, it does, can, can have a, a beautiful ending. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so even though that we start at one place, then of course we can end in another place. And, um, and the place that we d desire to end up is a place of healing, a place of restoration, a place of wholeness, a place of wellness, a place of strength, right? And so my testimony is this, one of my testimonies is this, is that um, I had a, a son, I do have a son, he's in, he's in Chicago, and uh, he's, a, he's, a great, he's a great son. And during the time that him and, him, and I'm, him and his mother, basically, and I was, you know, dating, going together, uh, he was born, 
okay? And so in the midst of that, we had some really hard, challenging situations. And many times that she would use him to hurt me, to wound me, to scar me. And I've heard it many, many days. And I've come to a place where my soul and my spirit man was so wounded and so scarred till I just did not want to deal with her at all. And I saw many times me, uh, saw many times me just putting my hands around her neck and just squeezing, you know, just to squeezing it to a, no more breath was 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 available to her, right? Well, thank God you didn't do that. That was thank just God a thought. I didn't. That, that was, was a thought. thought. There was a thought right. because of the pain. That pain. These mm -hmm. thoughts came out of my pain. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. It wasn't something I really desired to do. I just didn't want to hurt the way that I was hurting. And so sometimes pain will have you doing so many things that is outside of your character, mm -hmm. uh, so many things outside of your nature. And so that's why it's important for you to grapple and get a hold to yourself and understand, you know, why you're hurting so much. And so it came to a point where when, when I gave my life to the Lord, Jesus Christ, then God started dealing with me about me. Okay, not not about someone else. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was about me at that point mm -hmm. because I'm the one that had issues because there was so many times that I used situations to to justify my negative action towards someone else, and so it was time for me to man up and take responsibility for my own actions. And so God many times told me to forgive, to forgive, mm -hmm. to forgive, to forgive, to forgive, to forgive, to forgive. <laughs> and I mean, I mean, I went through a whole season for about, it seemed like it was a whole <laughs> year. That God was, every message I heard, it was all about forgiveness. And I said, oh my God, mm -hmm. Father, how, how long do you want me to, how, how, <laughs> how, how, how low do you want me to go? It's like, I forgive, I forgive, I forgive. And every time that we had conversations with, with my son's mother and I, and it was like God was telling me to forgive. And I said, God, I didn't do anything. I didn't say anything wrong. He said, forgive. It's not about necessarily you all together, but it's all about her getting into a place of healing as well. Did you know that forgiveness and asking forgiveness to someone else and also can bring healing and deliverance to them as well? Absolutely. It's all about them being in a place of freedom. Because if you are asking for forgiveness, that means that you're not holding them in hostage to whatever action that, that brought you to a place of hurt or pain. And so now you're now now it's a two it's a two edged sword. Now you've been forgiven, you've been cleansed, and then you're allowing that other mm -hmm. individual to be forgiven and being cleansed as well. Mm -hmm. You see, because if you constantly take that pain and constantly take that unforgiveness, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no, uh, you don't necessarily know where you're going to end up mm -hmm. because of that pain actually is operated out of a bruised emotions mm. and you know that when the emotions basically are dictating to, <laughs> to you how to act you know those responses and those actions are necessary are not necessarily going to be good or generous and so that's why it's important for you to be healed and delivered and so god really healed my heart he really dealt with me and i i really forgave and i've forgiven and there's one there's a few things that i've never done in the in the presence of my son even though that i was hurt and and even though this mother you know she she pained me so much i never talked evil to him about her I never said anything negative to him about her because I've always taught him to respect your mother, love your mother. And in the midst of all of those things, I never shared with my family how painful the hurt was. I never, you know, brought that into the into the in the to the picture at all because of the fact that I wanted to respect her, you know, as my mother, uh, as her as a uh, as the mother of my son. And he today uh he's a professional barber and he go by the name of montez the barber nice he's in south <laughs> south loop in chicago yeah. and he is a he is an excellent barber mm -hmm. <clears throat> and he don't just cut hair but he also create a customized experience for the ones that he serves yeah. and he is a tremendous barber he is a professional and i love him greatly and i i love his mother as well and so in the midst of that all those years of pain, God really brought me to a place of genuine 
healing and deliverance. Mm -hmm. And so if you are in that situation, you have had, you know, experienced some, some type of uh, unforgiveness and it's been so painful, know that you can no longer continue to carry that pain mm -hmm. and still yet be successful uh, for you as an individual or for you being in other relationships because of the fact that that pain is eventually going to show its head. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you, and if, you, if it shows its head, then of course it's going to bring about some type of destruction or devastation in that relationship. And so yes. there's still yet grace, there's still yet healing, there's still yet uh, your ability to be to be removed from all of the pain and the hurt that you have received in the past. So, and that's good. I mean, I appreciate you. Let me, you know, give you kudos for sharing because sometimes men <clears throat> may have a challenge with sharing. And that he was being really transparent and open because we feel it's really important for you to understand, especially for men, because he really has a heart for men to be healed. So, if and sometimes men don't handle, <clears throat> excuse me, the hurt. And the pain, they don't process it properly. And a lot of times they hold it in. This is what we've seen. Mm -hmm. And so we really hope this opens a way for you to understand it is time to release. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can't go forward. I don't care if it happened to you when you was nine, if it was some misappropriation or something, someone, some woman hurt your heart that you really mm -hmm. loved as a man, right? Yes. It's time for you to release that stuff. The, it talks about forgive. Yes. men, their trespasses. You have to forgive them. Acknowledge. And we want to thank you too, before I continue, thank um, Kim Mwanza for joining us, Linda Dean, Valerie Green, and uh, Yvonne Benton. But we, we, we really want men and women to understand it is time to let it go. We're in this new year, and now we're in May. It's May 6th. Yes. I mean, we mid-year. Why keep doing the same thing? It's like, why do, why do we keep doing the same thing over and over? Why do we keep nursing the same thing? Why do we keep allowing ourselves to still deal with the hurt and the pain of something. Sometimes people have had hurt for 10, 20, 30 years, we've seen. Yes. And it's like, come on, we it's have to let it go. That, and it's a lot of weight. It's mm. wasted time and a lot of weight on you. Mm -hmm. And our heart is, and compassion is, for people to be whole. Like I said, yes, we, we really focus on marriage, but we want people whole because if you're not married, <clears throat> yes. why go into a marriage with all this baggage? Yes, with all yes. this weight, with all this pain, when there's a solution for you, first solution is to release it, to say, you know what, even though you may be saying the words, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but you know what, you have to forgive. You don't. It's a choice. Forg it, it is a choice. It is a decision. It is a decision. You, and you have, have to, to make forgive. It, That's and you have to make process. that decision daily. You daily. know, you just don't make that decision mm -hmm. one time and then someone mm -hmm. hurts you again and then all, all right. of a sudden you're going to rehearse that pain. You know, it's a daily process. Daily. And because of the fact it is a daily process, that means that we're, you know, we all are human and we are all able to make mistakes and we, and we cause pain ourselves. So mm. we want to be forgiven. So we right. definitely have to forgive mm. others. Okay. Because we cannot expect someone to be perfect and then we be, remain imperfect. And then we want, you know, you treat people any kind of way, but you want. VIP service, so to speak. <laughs> you understand? So yeah. it, it's you, you, whatever you sow, okay, <laughs> that what you shall also reap. Yes, read. yes. And that's why we was talking about, again, in Matthew 6, 14, what it says, when it talks about forgive men their trespasses so your heavenly Father will forgive you. Okay? That's right. So if, you want, if we want God to forgive us, we have to be able to forgive others. Like I said, I know there can be some horrific things that can happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're not diminishing whether it, like I said, if it was abuse, physical, verbal, or it's just you know bad relationship mistreat. We're not downing or uh, uh, dimming, dumbing down the severity or the pain. But again, do you want to have the best life possible? Do you want to walk in victory in your life? Do you want to have peace, as it talks about in Philippians four seven, that passes all understanding? The only way to do that is to surrender to the one who can heal all pains. Remember, he's the one that knows us anyway, right? So <clears throat> the things that have happened to us are not new to him, mm -hmm. right? But the key is to release because, again, let's sum it up by saying, if we, if I, <clears throat> excuse me, if he mm -hmm. had not released mm -hmm. the pain and the hurt from failed relationships, where could we possibly be today? Mm -hmm. We could be walking around, unfortunately, like we've seen some people still, we literally, like you can just imagine them carrying this big baggage or them having these chains around the ankle. They're just walking around like this because they chose 
they chose not to release what happened to them. I don't mm -hmm. care if it happened from your mom, your dad, and, and in particular, you know, sibling, we talk about relationships, no matter what happened, it is now we're, we're asking you now to take an accounting of your life, to find out, think about, sit down and write down the people who have, may have hurt you from when the first time you remember up into this very day. We cannot change the past. All you have is right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You cannot change the past. That's true. You can't even do, can't effectuate anything necessarily in your future as far as, you know, you can plan. But what I'm saying is you only have <clears throat> time right now, this very second, this very moment. So why not take that accounting now, deal with those things now so that your, your mind can be clear, your heart can be clear. And if you're thinking about relationships and marriage, then you can be clear. Are we saying you're going to be perfect? No. There's no, first of all, there's no such thing as a perfect person or a perfect marriage. So just throw that out. But what we're saying is you want to be as whole as you possibly can, can if you're you know, unmarried, engaged, or even married. It's time now to make our marriages. That's why we, we're doing this, for marriages to be better, because we want to deal with real stuff. I mean, come on now. We don't want to just deal with the fluff. Yeah. We're not even fluff. We don't deal with fluff. Because yeah, we it's, have it's been time through, waster. we have been through <clears> enough <throat> things to know. Listen, we don't have time for fluff. <laughs> okay, we have been too too much, and we're willing to share and be open and transparent, so that someone else can hopefully take this information and be healed by it. That's yes. what this is all about. We yes. all have a part to play in this world. Yes. Once you figure out what your part is, you need to run to it. But it's going to be hard to run to it if you got chains around your ankle. So that's why we want to say we want to equip people to be healed, to be uh, have a good well-being, to be whole, to be ready for good sound relationship. So ultimately, you can accomplish what you were created to do. Mm -hmm. That's really our whole goal. Because if you have a healthy marriage in the context of marriage, you can accomplish what you're supposed to accomplish as a couple. That's right. Right. And, and even as an individual, as you know, an individual. <clears throat> God is concerned about, <clears throat> excuse me, God is concerned about every soul because all souls belongs to him, <clears throat> right? And it doesn't matter if you're married or unmarried or seeking to get married, mm -hmm. all right? It's best that you get healed. If, even if you're in a, in, uh, seeking to get married, that's the, I mean, that's a beautiful place to be mm -hmm. because now you get a chance to know who you are outside of the relationship with someone else. Mm -hmm. I believe that's one that's I believe that's one of the things that uh, many people does not allow mm -hmm. themselves to get to know who they are. Oh my goodness, yes. I mean, I mean, uh, if you really get to know who you are, you you are a mm. beautiful being, mm. wonderfully mm. created by mm. the hand of God. Mm. And if you begin to know who you are mm. and begin to uh, appreciate and accept you for yes. who you are and how God has created you because he has uniquely oh created each and every one of us so unique to our fingerprints as on is so unique that no one else God created have the same fingerprint. You, Isn't that amazing? Now, hold that right there. Okay. I got I got to interject. Don't, okay. don't stop. Go ahead. So when you know who you are, <coughs> guess what? You won't allow anyone to pull, put you on strings and be able to pull them up. Mm. Okay. Control them, manipulate you. You want when you know who you are, you cannot be anybody's puppet. Mm. Because you won't fit in the mold, you won't feel comfortable, you will call what we say buck against, because when you know who you are, when you're confident in who God created you to be, no one can pull you, they can't even put you on strengths. Mm. Can somebody say, uh-huh, <laughs> can we get a thumbs up? Because yes, that's true. Yes. And a lot mm. of times people are allowing other people to put them on strings and pull their strings because they don't know who they are. Yes. They have no identity. They're trying to be validated by someone else. Oh my goodness. Right. Okay, this 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 listen, we got to release this, but it's like don't allow people to control your destiny. Yes. Don't allow people to put you into what they think the form or the way they think you should be. That's right. You ask the creator who you are. Amen. Despite the hurt, the pain, Whatever, whatever God created why, to be does not change. Why are you created? Why? Well, why am why? I created? What yes. is my divine yes. purpose Make it for personal. being here? Yes, yes, yes. I am here for a reason. Yes. And it's not just to be used, manipulated, abused by other individuals not. because of their insecurities mm -hmm. and inferiorities or don't recognize the power mm. of self. 
And oh so my. God has given you a grace, has given you a voice. He has given you the ability to choose to live. So live. I, I, I pray <laughs> that you choose to live yes. and live <laughs> out the individual that you are created to be. And so we have to get rid of some things. In order to get rid of some things, oh we my. have to be truthful. In order to be truthful, we have to we have to take some introspection. There's some things about us that we don't necessarily like. Mm. There's some things about us that we do that we, we do, that we shouldn't do. So we need to reevaluate what are we doing, mm -hmm. where we're trying to go, how we're going to get there, what vehicle do we need, what type of tools do we need, who do we need in our lives to help us to 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 get there, and then. Uh, what mentors do we need? Because mm. of the fact that we need mentors in our lives. Mentors, what I mean by that, is someone that is whole that, that in their own mm -hmm. personality mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that knows how to respect you as an individual, but help you identify and to define where you're trying to go. Yes. And they are a conduit. They can be used as a conduit to assist you along the way. And so there are many... There are many uh, mentors. <laughs> you and, know, looking come at, across. and you're looking at a couple of them. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna yeah, yeah, that. We're going, yeah. <laughs> we we are we are coaches, mentors. We're in that vein because we desire again to see people live their best life. Okay, so our focus is in particular dealing with engaged couples and married couples because we want to see you godly succeed, not just yes. succeed. Some people have success, but godly succeed encompasses why you were born. So yes. we just want to end with that because we're probably going to make a part two because we can just keep going and going and going. We thank everybody that joined us, Simone, Christopher, Allen, but we just want to encourage you Again, take an accounting if you have any hurt, pain, past, abuse. It doesn't matter if it happened when you was 9, 10, 25. It doesn't matter. Write that down. What happened to you? Who may, who did it? And you have to say, you know what? I choose to forgive because we're ending with that scripture about forgive again, man, that trespasses so God will forgive you. And also as you forgive in the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. It will keep your hearts and your mind because when you have all this uh, dissension within you, it's going to bring about uh, this mental chatter constantly that's going to bring you down, that's going to tear you down, that's going to make you feel weighted, and you're not, it's going to be like a double-minded person, yes, right? Yes. So we just, again, encourage you, take that accounting of your life, and it's time, agree today, May 6, 2018, that I'm going to do it differently, I'm going to forgive so that I can have a new level of peace, Amen. And so we want to end by reminding you of our blog, which is www.enrichingyourmarriageblog.wordpress.com. Please go there and, and take a look at some of the things we've been doing. If you have any comments, make sure you leave them there as well. Make sure you're on Twitter with us, which is Marriage Enrichment. The Bakers tweet us. We tweet every day. So tweet back at us if you see a tweet. We do a lot of uh, um, comments and different ideas that we come up with. So make sure you do that. Also, go to our YouTube channel and please subscribe. <laughs> Marriage Enrichment, the Bakers. Just go to, go and to hit YouTube that notification and go, button. Please, and hit the notification after you subscribe. We are doing this because we, again, want to see people godly succeed. Okay, so make sure you share this video with anyone else that you know is dealing with maybe hurt or pain. Again, it's not just for married people, but that's our focus focus, but it can help anyone. Yeah. So share, 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 share. Anything else you want to end finally with that? Mm, no. Okay, um, hey, forgive. Forgive. So you can have what? New level of peace. Yes. Right? Yes. So I'm Charlotte. And I'm Daryl. And we are who? The Bakers. We are the Bakers. Again, don't forget to share the video and we will talk to you soon. Peace. Gotta do the peace. Deuces. Peace, peace, peace. Have a great Sunday. It's a beautiful day. All Enjoy right. your day. Bye-bye.